My girlfriend Paige writes every single day what we did, just because I'd love to be able to look back. I mean, I don't want them to read that. <laughs> it makes me a little sad that, like, it doesn't just, like, pop back into my mind. You know, and I'm like, I should have remembered going to Australia. You know, like, it's something that people remember. I told them that. Oh, it made us so sad. Yeah. We're back on Access Hollywood Live, dancing with the stars team, Frankie <clears throat> and Whitney. So for you, Whitney, mm -hmm. do you have to rehearse double with Frankie? What's your workout routine with him? Frankie is a little bit crazy in the best <laughs> way. He just really wants to do well. And so we're rehearsing probably more than any other couple. I'm confident in saying that because we are just going hard. We want this. Frankie wants this. He wants to do well. And so we work our, our butts off for sure. You are such a competitor. I just I mean, love it too. Like yeah. I, I really enjoy it. But you know, when you when you do the dancing, like I don't want to go out there and embarrass myself. I want to do the best I can. And I come with zero dancing experience. You know what yeah. I mean? So like I everything I learn is brand new. So I need more time to, you know, figure it out. It's interesting though, because um the season with um was it James, the race car driver? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, there's something about race car drivers being really good at You're dancing. You're right now. Really. And I think we had, I forget who his dancing partner was, but she said there's something about like the physics, the physics, the physics of, it. of it and also being able like very sensitive to car, to motion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it was Sharna, yeah, who was yeah. his dance partner. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't, I don't know how, how they relate, but uh, yeah, I mean, Helio won. Yeah. You know, Inch James did really, close. Yeah. you know, really mm -hmm. well. And, you know, hopefully we can make it to the finale too. More yeah. importantly, with your sweet girlfriend who is here, and we're gonna bring her out. We gotta find her. Oh, she yeah. hiding. But Hi. you can now dance with her, Frankie. Where are, you? Where are you hiding, my love? Come on, baby. But I'm thinking you take her out oh, to the bar. Is. This the dances you guys can do out on the town now. He's adorable, no. Frankie. You know what's funny? Like I'm the person, like I will not dance. Like, now I, you yeah. are. I, I just like in public, like I'm so terrified to dance in front of people. Like I just get really shy. You know, but like I, I tell her, like, she has to choreograph, like, every move that we do. Because, like, I still don't feel comfortable, but I would love to dance with my girlfriend. Aww. So hopefully, like, she'll learn a choreographed dance with us. We'll One just keep day. doing that same, we'll keep doing that same choreographed dance. <laughs> Maybe a wedding, you wedding go. dance I just the fact that she writes everything down when we so saw cute. that. It was like, yeah. this, how long have y'all been together? We've been together about two years. Um, I, you know, she started writing the journal for me just because I get, I get sad of the thought of losing the memory. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you know, good or bad. You know, yeah. I just I I love to be able to look back. And she's she's a writer too, so she's really she is amazing in detail with the way she writes, to where it really does help bring me back. And uh, I just I love it, so it's it's pretty cool. Do you really not Sweetest. remember going to Australia at all? <laughs> I don't. I've seen pictures. I was on top of this the Sydney the Harbour Bridge or wow. whatever, um, but uh, I don't remember climbing it. <laughs> oh my god! I'm just glad you can remember dance steps. So. <laughs> steps. Yeah. And the, do your parents worry more about you as a race car driver than they did about you as an actor as well, a yeah. kid growing up? Yeah, yeah. I mean, as an actor, I don't know. Like I just I was so excited and happy to be where I was and doing what I was doing that like I I. I didn't take it for granted. I just kind of, I did it. Um, yeah. But I'm 31 years old. I've never had a sip of alcohol. I've never touched any. Never? Never. So like, I, it, I, I don't know. Like it just, I, I didn't get into that aspect of where a lot of child stars kind of go down a path um, that leads to bad things. But I don't know. I, I just, I've, I've gotten to do everything I've ever wanted to do. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And I, I consider myself extremely lucky for that with, you know, acting and then going into race car driving. And I played drums in a, in a band touring all over the world for the last four years. And oh now gosh. I manage a band You're called Astro Lasso. You're like a cat with nine lives. Like you just, <laughs> there's all these fun things. Well, there's just the, a lot of things I want to do. Like, and I, yeah. I'm, I, I live my life to the fullest. Like, I don't like to sit down. I like to just keep moving and just do everything I can because that's I why you it. don't have the memories because you're living in the moment too much and not appreciate they say those are the happiest mm -hmm. people though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what about more acting for you, Frankie? I would love to. I mean, you know, I, I took when Malcolm ended, I, I kind of left the business and moved to Arizona where I live now and uh, just started racing and doing other things. And, you know, but I think stepping away like was a, a good thing for me in a sense that it made me just appreciate life in general more. I don't know how to explain that other than the fact like, I started to like look up and like notice trees and I, it sounds so creepy. No, sorry, I know I what you're say. saying. But like, I don't know, like yeah. to where now, like coming back into the acting world, I would love to do it because I have such a greater appreciation for life and mm -hmm. like my work ethic, I think is a lot stronger. So I, I feel like it would be a, uh, It'd be good. I'm seeing know. you and Cranston in something oh, yeah. coming soon. Cranston, make it happen. <laughs> He's awesome. If anybody can make it happen. Whitney, what does he have that could bring you the Maribel? What is it? Man. Uh, <laughs> so many things. I think his personality, I think people just gravitate to him, but he's also so hardworking. Like, he wants to win, and he wants to do well, and I think that's, like, 
a great formula to success. And so mm -hmm. we're just going to do the best that we can every single week, what we've been doing, and just hopefully that takes us to the end. So When you hear the music like this, I see you going like this. You know bit. the steps? Does, are, are you oh, yeah. in your mind like doing the steps to this? We Even ran your feet this like moving. 50 times. No, so no, funny. In a row, like one, one rehearsal, I was like, let's do it because it's quick step. It's really yeah. exhausting. Like, we're going to do it 50 times nonstop. It's like in Frankie's a row. boot camp. <laughs> I'm have you lost weight? Like, Cause other, I have. Really? I, but like, I don't want yeah, to. I was gonna say, you don't need to. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to gain some muscle, but <laughs> yeah. um, you know, like I was going to the gym before, but like we we work so hard in the rehearsals, like that, like your body's so exhausted. I'm yeah. just trying to heal so I can be ready to rehearse again tomorrow. So, mm -hmm. like, I can't go to the gym. You know what I mean? I gotta be able to dance tomorrow. You must eat like a racehorse. Yeah. <laughs> I eat whenever I can. <laughs> whenever I get a chance when I'm not rehearsing. <laughs> well, you've got the ace in the hole with this one. Whitney's yeah, gonna bring it. Luck. We love watching you in the ballroom. Dancing with the Stars airs Mondays at eight on ABC.